Hello there, my name is Michael and in this video I will show you how we do the production using the Nordmark growing system for microgreens. So in this video we're going to do everything by hand to show you how you can get started very easily and scale your production. We're working with a hemp fiber instead of soil which is a nice material with good water absorption properties but it's also a sustainable material that can be composted after usage. There are of course downsides with everything and the main issue with hemp is that it's very easy to oversaturate the hemp which will remove air pockets in the hemp and drown the roots which will prevent growth and even kill your plants. But by using the Nord channel we developed much of these problems are now taken care of so just watch and see how it works. First of all, we get our hemp fiber on rolls. So what we need to do first is we need to pre-cut our hemp fiber into the correct length. And we use about 110 centimeters long uh, strips. That means about one roll lasts for about 14 channels. And the grow area used in our channels is slightly below that of what we are used in a standard 10 by 20 trays for those who have used those before. After we have cut up the, all the hemp fiber, we want to prep the channels with the hemp fiber and this will make it out so much easier in the next step. So after all the channels have been prepped and stacked, we now move on to watering all the hemp fiber. In this stage, we will just oversaturate our hemp fiber so they get really, really soaked. After this process, we start to seed each channel. This is done by just sprinkling them out like this and the density can vary between each variety. But as a general rule, we use about 20 to 25 grams of seeds if they are smaller, like broccoli, mustard and kale, and about 50 gram if the seeds are a bit larger, like radish for example. Sunflower and peas, we tend to cover the hemp match as much as possible. So just water one last time on top if the seeds feels a little bit more dry, use the misfunction or a very low pressure nozzle to do this, otherwise you will move the seeds around. Stack all the, the channels that you just seeded and place them on a angled surface. So this is one of the most important steps that you need to do if you, for example, oversaturated your hemp fiber. So the reason for the you want to angle them is that the gravity will remove all the excess water from the hemp fiber and the rest of the water will last through the germination phase. One thing to keep in mind is if your germination room for example has a very low humidity that means more or less than 50% you want to make sure that the channels is placed horizontal after about 24 hours. This will preserve a lot of the humidity inside of it and otherwise what can happen is that one side of the channel is, is going to get very dry and the growth uh, phase is going to be stifled uh, a bit. But if you have a higher humidity rate you don't need to do this step. Then you can just keep them at an angle and this will be uh, more than sufficient. After about three days in germination phase it's more or less done and you can put them inside the light. You can, however, also uncover them and put them inside uh, in another dark room, but not stacked. This will make them more or less double in size in the next 24 hours, then place them in the light after that. So it all, all, always just depends on how large you want your greens, if you want them smaller or taller. In the lighting phase, watering is usually done one to three times a day, depending on the humidity in the room and also how warm it is. If you just have, for example, a very few channels, this can easily be done by hand by either using a hose or a cup of water if you have the end caps on, for example. If you start to get a lot of channels, we do suggest you to look into our watering system, which is greatly reduced the amount of work when it comes to watering and handling. After about a total of six to seven days, some of the greens are getting ready, like radish, and some are finished after about eight to ten days. So when it comes to harvesting, you want to use a knife for this, and you also want to have the product as dry as possible. And when you're harvesting them, you want to put them in a container, and we do recommend a plastic container with no air holes, also adding an absorption pad with absorbing the extra moisture that will come from the product, 
this will mass make the product last for about 10 to 14 days in the cooler. If you don't want to uh, harvest your product and if you are delivering directly for to restaurants for example, you can deliver them inside the channel directly to the chef uh, using the smaller channels. And this is something we recommend because it reduces a lot of the work. Uh, So after that we have done the harvest, we want to compost the hemp and, and the next part is then cleaning. So we recommend to clean the channels right away when the hemp is still moist. This will make it a lot more easier and quicker. If you let the hemp dry for example, it will start to stick to the channels and make it a lot harder to clean. After you clean the channels, we do recommend to use some sort of bleach or hydrogen peroxide to kill any leftover spores. This is not a necessary step if you grow as a hobby, but recommended if you grow more commercially. You reduce the potential problems like fungus or mold spores that can attach itself to the channels after. So after you have cleaned all the channels, you want to stack them again and put them on an angle and the water will eventually dry out, which is a very important step to prevent mold and fungus to, to start to build up in a moist area uh, and start to attach itself. So this is just a quick overview on how we do our production when it comes to small scales and in a manual setting. At larger scale you will eventually have machine seeders, washers and harvesters to do the heavy work. But you can find more like behind the scenes on our Instagram page at Nordmark. Also check out our homepage nordmark.se to find more info regarding the system and how it works. So have a good day.